Welcome friends, welcome family, welcome to my sacred space that I prepared for us today. I'm Olivia, this is Tarot and Coffee with Olivia, and I'm here to do your daily pick a card. Right now, I'm going to start shuffling our thought of the day from our Healing the Mind and Spirit cards by Dr. Brian L. Weiss. And while I'm shuffling, you can go ahead and take a look at those card toppers from afar. I will show them to you up close as soon as we finished with the card of the day. I want you guys to know how much I really appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Whether you come regularly or intermittently or whether you're here for your first time or one of many, it doesn't matter. I just really appreciate your presence. It means so much to me. Um, so if you've never done a tarot pick a card, it's really easy. And all you have to do is follow through the video. There's really no big instructions. You're just going to pick a card. Now I am going to have a thought of the day and that can sometimes be integrated into your reading. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck and I'm going to pull I'm going to pull the card from the bottom. You are not here by accident or by some coincidence of nature. Oh no, you're not. Check it out. My life has always held a deep meaning and a profound purpose. Now, you don't have to know, you don't have to feel, oh, let's see, I don't feel this deep meaning or, you know, what is my purpose? It's okay to not know because you're probably already doing it. <laughs> and the thing is, is if you want to know, you will know. All you have to do is ask. Maybe you have to ask a lot. Maybe it'll take years to know. But you will eventually know what your life's purpose is. And oftentimes you will find that you've already been working towards it. I may have a little sip of coffee before we begin our pick a card. Mm. Oh my goodness, the coffee is so good today. <laughs> I wish I could serve you all a cup. Um, okay, so these are the card toppers today. They're just little glass beans, be beads. <laughs> This reminds me of a kidney bean, a green kidney bean. Here we have a blue rectangular shape, or we can call it a, a diamond shape if we want. <laughs> Depends on our per point of view, right? Our perspective. Um, the next one, I'm just going to call a little key lime, like a, like a slice of lime. And then last but not least, we have this darker blue glass piece in the shape of a whatever we want, diamond, rectangle, whatever you want to call that. And so here we are. We have your thought of the day. And that is that you have a life's purpose and you have a calling, that you, that you have a reason to be here and a purpose. Okay, let's go ahead and see what is under the kidney bean. The Ace of Pentacles. Let's look at this going on in the background. I think, is that water or those mountains? At any rate, it very much looks like a gate out into the world from a lovely garden. So what is this, a hand? A, a huge hand. What does that remind you of? Well, yeah, <laughs> you've been given a gift. And what is the gift? Well, pentacles we often think of as talents. Um, and we often think of them as money. Uh, we also think of them as, to me, I think of like seeking your fortune. I also think of our interaction with humanity. Okay, so let's let's boil this down a little bit and give you a meaning for the day. Today, you accept and develop your talents and share the gifts. You know that uh, 
Oh, here's another biblical scripture. Uh, don't hide your talents under a bushel, bushel, but bring them out for everyone to see. Let your light show shine before men that you may, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm not really good at remembering all of it, but basically you've been given a gift and you need to share this gift. And if you don't feel like your gift is good enough to share, well, then you're going to need to practice. And that's what this card is saying. Take that gift. If you don't feel like you know what your gift is, go ahead and seek it out. Go ahead and, and pray about it or, um, you know, contemplate. Think about it. So that's a beautiful card today. <clears throat> and talents come in many shapes and forms. They don't always have to be something that you might consider a godly talent. And see how this card goes really well with my life has uh, has held deep meaning and profound purpose. This knowing what your talents are brings you well on the way of knowing what your true purpose is. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's under the the green diamond shape oh there she is the queen of swords the queen of swords of course she is royal <laughs> so the swords have everything to do with air words thoughts opinions decisions so this card is asking you today or telling you or letting you know that today you will be clear in your decisions and your behavior. You're going to be very aware of your effect on people around you because you are the queen, okay? Whether you be male or female, if you'd rather think of yourself as the king of swords, that's okay. But there is something to our feminine sides and aspects that speak to us through this card. This card is asking you to think through your thoughts and your point of view so that you can stand by ready, knowing that you are correct. So here's, here's another askance of you. Replace fear with love. Coupled with my life has always held a deep meaning and purpose. Well, this is a really great way to act out your purpose today. By reigning over your people with love. Reigning over your people, with your people. By standing with your people and letting them know the truths that you know. And that is your car today. <clears throat> it might be it might be a little more difficult than it sounds but that's why you're the queen difficult is not scary for you and now let's look and see what we have under our little lime a little key lime the magician well, as you can as you as you might well suspect, the magician is a magical card and shows you what a magical being that you are. Today the the magician is all about finding and inventing. The magician is about being resourceful. And last but not least, the magician is about being magical. So the message for you today is that the universe loves and needs you. Make use of opportunities. You can and will make a difference today in your own life and others. So uh, oftentimes when I see this card, um, you guys, I don't know, y'all might be too young to remember who MacGyver is. It was a TV show and it was this guy it was always like he could make a bomb out of a paper clip and <laughs> and some, I don't know, bleach powder or something. 
he was very resourceful. He could make use of the things around him and it almost looked like magic. MacGyver. So MacGyver the shit out of that today, whatever it is that you're doing. Okay. And remember about your life holding meaning, especially with the magician. This really is um, the power of resourcefulness. But also, when you're that resourceful, when you move through life, making things happen for you and using the power that you have within you to alter the circumstances around you, you are a magical being. That's a great card to have today. It's fun. It's fun. Magical. You know what? Expect miracles. You never know. Think. In fact, today I want you to think about a miracle that has happened to you in your life or someone that you know. If you can't think of something that's happened to you in your life that felt miraculous, I want you to think about someone that you know that had a miraculous experience and then expect a miracle in your life today. All right, let's see what you have. If you picked the dark blue piece of glass and you have the Ace of Swords. And again, like we said before with the Queen of Swords, um, the swords have to do with air, words, thoughts, opinions, independence, intellect. This card is asking you to rise up and move forward toward your goals with clarity. Also, it offers help from spirit. We always have that, especially when we ask. But in this particular case, with the Ace of Swords, spirit wants you in the know. What does that mean? Your point of view can be expanded. You can become more aware and see more than what you see now around you and be able to work with that energy. That's a very exciting card today. It's really about moving forward with your goals, moving forward with your intentions, moving forward with clarity and knowing what you're doing rather than stumbling upon things. So... Basically, like if you if you wanted an assignment today, I would ask you to fall on your knees and ask spirit to show you the way. That's what. You don't have to do anything I say. <laughs> you take what you need and you leave the rest, right? And here we are. We're at the end. How did that happen so quickly? <laughs> it just did. So... I hope you found this to be just what you needed and do take what resonates with you and leave the rest and don't make life altering decisions or changes based on this or any other tarot. Pick a card. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you liked your card, if you liked your card today, if you didn't like your card today, give me a thumbs down and tell me what you think. Okay. In the comments, let me know what's going on. Um, also go ahead and subscribe. That's a big thing. That's that's cool. That's cool. That makes my day. Okay. Um, you can also book with me privately on my website, or you can come see me on Keen. You just click on the link below, and you can get more details on how to contact me, and personal readings will get you much more guidance than just to pick a card. A pick a card is really just a card. A card for the day, but with a personal reading, we can really delve into the deep stuff. So do give me a call and we'll set up something for you. Thank you so much, guys. I look forward to seeing you next time. Love you very much.